Hi and welcome to this video tutorial on applying a fog post effect to a render in Rhino 7. Now I'm going to be rendering out this view which we've been working on in the previous videos. I'm just going to go to the render panel up here and hit render to start rendering out this specific viewport. Now as this render is loading up you can see on the left hand side here we have this panel called post effects. If you can't see this particular panel on your render you can go up to the render tab in the view up here and hit on the effects panel and that will open and close that post effects panel here. Now in this effects panel we're going to click on the plus icon and we can add in a series of effects overlaid on top of our raw render as it renders out and we're going to start by looking at the fog effect. So I'm going to turn that on and you see there it's now applying a fog based upon the distance of objects from the camera. Now you can change the strength of this fog sort of from 100 down to 50 depending on how strong you want that to be in the scene. You can also change the colour. Now by default I've kind of set mine to a blue but by default it's usually a slightly kind of grey colour there. I usually prefer setting the colour to a white if you just want a sort of nice hazy fog in your scene or a sort of slight blue colour if you've got some blue sky like this one does here and how I do that is usually pick up the colour wheel click on this eyedropper tool in the top corner and if you click and hold and find a sort of nice sky tone you can select that blue colour from the sky and then just brighten it up by kind of bringing the little icon up to the kind of white bar at the top there so we've got a kind of nice light blue tone there and there you can see we've got that nice blue haze. You can also vary the distance of the fog. If we put it really close at 100 or even 10 meters, it will bring that fog forward closer to the camera. And if we put it further away at sort of 400 distance, it will bring it further and have it sort of hazing off into the background. So you can vary the sort of distance the fog is working from and that's in relation to the camera you have here. So it's this kind of start distance and the end distance there. Now as well as that there's this fog background option which should sort of apply fog to the background but I've been having trouble with Rhino 7 getting this particular function to work. As you can see the background here is still clear and the fog almost kind of stops at that line. So we're going to look at another way just to apply fog to the background of the image as well. So I'm going to set this to a kind of 200 fog there. And you can see we've got this kind of jagged line around the objects here where the fog stops and the background image begins. So to counter this, we're just going to stop that render there. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go back to our view. And we're going to just draw out our own sort of background plane for this image. And I'm just going to do that by making a vertical plane. And we'll just draw this in the backdrop here. Make it quite large, like so. And then we'll go select the plane, go back to our view. And then I'm just going to move this in the view so it's kind of occupying the whole frame there. And it's good to sort of angle it slightly towards the sun so it's still light because you don't want it kind of looking a lot darker there. And to get the colour we're just going to make a new material here, make a physically based material and then for the base colour if you've still got that when render window open you can always pick the base colour from that. So I've got my kind of previous render here so we can select our base colour, use the eyedropper tool again and just pick a kind of nice sky colour for that and I'm going to pick this sort of mid blue here and then we're going to apply that material to my background sky there and you can apply an image to this if you wanted if you wanted some kind of picture of some clouds you can always apply a kind of cloud image to that too so you have some kind of um, control over what you apply to that plane and now we're going to render it out again and we're going to try the same thing, add the fog on and see the difference there. So now you can see that's rendering out nicely and we're going to just click apply our fog again and you can see now that the fog is affecting that background material too. So that's just a way of kind of allowing you to apply the fog to the background material as well as to the foreground objects there and you can see the difference if I open up 
the previous one as well. We might have to stop this render first. And that's the kind of previous image there. So you can see that's with no fog applied to the background and that's with fog applied to the background too. So that's just a quick video tutorial on applying um, atmospheric fog post effects to your render in Rhino 7. In the next video we'll be looking at some of these other effects you can add in and how these can be used to sort of add some more atmospheric kind of tones to your images. Thank you for watching.